I fell in love with the game again, and I don't really take it for granted. He finally feels so good and feels so healthy and is so dialed into who we are, what we're about, what our culture is, what our schemes are, that I think he really enjoys playing football, and that's what it should be. Any play could be your last play. You know, I've been through that a lot, so just whatever I can do to help win and whatever I can do while I'm on the field. Playing the, the game that he loves and, and just doing it with so much joy on his face, you know, it, it encourages all of us on the team. We strive to have that love for the game like he does. Jay was a team player, and um, even when he doesn't have the ball, he still shows the love for the game. Super grateful, and I know a lot of these guys are grateful to have him on our team. Um, just from, you know, the positive energy he brings. He does it with a passion because he knows how the game, how it feels to have the game taken away from him. I'm gonna try to empty the tank all the time, so I just, I just try to do that in everything I do. Don't take this game for granted. You know, you gotta take every play, every every game. You know, you gotta just enjoy it. In this day and age of NIL and transfers and all this stuff going on, it's clear to see the guy or the guys that play for the love of the game. Uh, I just really played to win. You know, whatever I can do to help us win, that's, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do. He's just such a selfless guy, um, and, you know, Guys like that are always fun to play with. And I think Jordan Whittington loves playing college football at the University of Texas, and it shows in every snap. That's what you do when you're determined, dedicated, committed. With all that he's been through, I think he's taken more pride and more joy than uh, playing uh, now more than ever. If you just watch number four, you know, from start to finish, from the sidelines to pregame to on the field to run plays to pass plays, he plays every play for the love of the game and like it could be his last play. And that's that's what you're striving for with your entire team, and, and he exemplifies that. But what does Bebo think of you falling in love with the game of football? I'm supposed to call him later today. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that's my guy right there, man. <laughs> I've been planning that for the past seven weeks. So, yeah, one day I'm going to jump in there. But no. <laughs> I really didn't know that he talked to Bebo before the game. You know, I wonder what they talk about, honestly. <laughs> I wonder what he says. But yeah, I, I hope he gets to celebrate with him, you know, you know, more times down the road. I know that that's, that's his guy, and I want him to, to get in that end zone to go to run over there and talk to him again. <laughs>